hello friends welcome back to blockchain inside out today i am going to share a huge news to all of you you can see the screen pixel launching on binance launch pool that means pixel the token itself is coming into life we are waiting for long long days and we have participated lots of events when pixel when pixel we have flooded the twitter and everywhere we have written and this is the the time comet the pixel is coming here when you are going to pixel for the first time in the morning you can see they are redirecting towards the discord link and as well as you can check out their twitter link as well and you can see the pixel is launching on binance launch pool so the first point is that if you are having any binance bnb token you just go and stake some to get pixel token that is going to be valuable and apart from that i am coming to other points as well what they have announced just be with me 2023 was a landmark year and uh, they are saying that they have becoming the best game and the biggest game ever in web 3 playing arena and that's true we all know that how many players are involved in this game so it's very much sure that it is the biggest game ever we are playing into Evaluation of tokenomics for any Web3 game to achieve long-term success, sustainability must always be prioritized. This is the best point I have found from this topic, that uh, from this post, that sustainability of this tokenomic is must, must needed. And we have seen lots, lots of games earlier in our uh, Web3 days because I personally played lots of games earlier and some uh, games I am also playing. But the tokenomic of this game is very, very stable. If you have played any kind of wax blockchain game, you could have remembered that there was a game called... Uh, farm farming uh, farming game some uh, some something like that and it gave huge huge profit in two and a half months and after that the game died so but this game is almost uh, not almost it's more than two years and it's still very strong and going strong hopefully it will be there and it will come back stronger why this approach currently berry experiences a daily inflation rate of approximately two percent although chapter two will address complications arising from this inflationary model we have opted to implement early measures to sustain the economy this move allows us to build a more sustainable economy and positions us for a stronger future without the challenges associated with managing a soft currency on chain and berry is sunsetting there will be no berry in coming days so you have to exchange your berry into pixel on that point i am coming very soon addressing numerous issues chapter 2 aims to safeguard pixel from similar abuses Players must strategize, collaborate, collaborate, and complete tasks at random intervals to earn tokens. To maintain a fair playing field, Berry will be replaced with off-chain coin, effective immediately. Because in this chapter 1 or the uh, mode what we, where we are playing, they are saying that you we are able to make lots of talk lots of accounts by your own that may be uh, may maybe with vip membership may not be with vip membership but you were allowed to make lots of 
accounts and if you were playing this game for a long time so you could got the strategy very well to you that you uh, go go every day take your energy go to uh, box galore take some pop berry or take some water mint harvest it and sell it with this method only and you are not going looking into any other skills area but still this thing was giving you enough enough berry right you must be agreeing with me but in coming days in chapter 2 while the pixel token will be introduced that situation will not be there there will be one important thing guild guild will be the most important thing and for that i will give you some tips on the guild section but before that let me finish up the post then i will share my opinion about guild and how you will play along with this chapter 2 which is coming very very fast and very soon well next step for berry holders as uh, to be fair to the community as possible we are committed rewarding berry holders with pixel with reward proper proportionate to the amount of berry owned this will be done in game but will reflect both on chain and off chain balances of berry berry will be substituted in game with new off chain currency coins players will subsequently have the chance to exchange pixel for coins gaining a gameplay advantage i have berry in game already great you will receive pixel automatically so you don't have to do anything you will get pixel automatically if you have berry on chain right i have very outside of the game if you have withdrawn berry then also if you have not converted into a ronin or any other coin then also you can open pixel dashboard and navigate the exchange page where you can exchange your berry, berry to pixel if you have not exchange then there is a chance then uh, that you can exchange your off game uh, off game berry balance into pixel and here you go we will be exchanging pixel for 1000 berry pixel for 1000 berry for 7.617 pixel so you can calculate how many berry you are having right now and how many pixels you are going to get the reward will be proportionate to the value of berry owned however if you are part of the second group you are going to want to act quickly the sooner you convert berry to pixel the better conversion rate will be so you can immediately change your berry to pixel if your pix uh, berry are outside of the game and if your uh, berry are in game then you don't have to do anything you it will be automatically converted into pixel final thought with the listing on binance and the sunset of berry as i told already to create a sustainable sustainable economy ecosystem we are confident that pixels best days are ahead we are also thinking so that best days are yet to come at pixels our ethos has always been with all will always be built with and for the community we have been building in public for two years and won't change the approach and our continued focus on transparency at all cost is a large part of why we are here now community is our strength and our most fun part of being involved in pixel as we enter in new area era our community will look forward can look forward in to better gaming experiences and a more resilient digital currency infrastructure of course of course of course and we are eagerly waiting for that and one more important 
point I am going to share. I have got it from this Discord announcement. Well, I am just reading these highlighted points. We are sunsetting Barry. If you have Barry in game, we you will automatically be given pixel in your in game balance. Barry will be replaced with a new off chain currency. If you have Barry on chain, you will be able to deposit it in the game in a new dashboard of pixel. For every thousand Barry you had, you will receive 7.61 something pixel in return. The exchange rate of berry to pixel will decrease after 72 hours. So it's better to deposit your berry sooner. Deposit means once more I'm saying that if you are having any off chain, off game balance, that's only not for in game balance. And here the main thing play to airdrop allocation will be shown tomorrow. So we were waiting who are who were in the top 7000 rank holders they can get to see the allocation of play to airdrop white paper will be re released tomorrow with the play to airdrop this is the announcement in depth what i got and you also can read it but i have explained it for you to make it simpler hope you understood this now come to the point what the changes are coming in chapter 2 and why guild is important right now you all have joined you all have uh, white uh, watch listed guild right now the guild will guild owner will accept the notification will accept uh, the uh, membership okay they will see lots of members are coming uh, are willing to join their guild and they can accept the people who they want to be in the guild so it's not possible that if you are watch or oh, watch listing any guild and they will allow you into the guild it's not possible for everybody because if your rank and your reputation is lower than the higher member suppose the big guild players will not accept you because there will be some task you have to do regularly and you will get the coin wait where we were reading that yes currently very uh, although chapter 2 will address complications arising from the inflation model uh, chapter 2 aim to safeguard pixel from similar abuses right players must strategize collaborate collaborate means guild and complete task at random intervals to earn tokens so every day you were earning very just by selling pop berry wine or water mint and uh, got lots of berries but here it's not going to be the case in pixel so you have to strategize you have to make the strategy you have to collaborate and complete the task complete the task means if your skill levels in many sections are high then you will be able to join into the guild so better idea to join into guild that don't try to get into huge members guild try to get into small membership small small members guild suppose you are seeing any guild of uh, 15 members 7 members 20 members try to check out that and keep them in watch list so that they may be able to get let you get in into their guild if you are trying to get into a big guild there will be lots of big players who are having more than 100 levels more than 120 levels and if you are uh, around 50 levels or 
40 levels then they won't be they will never let you get in into their guild so the point is that you will not be able to complete task suppose they need wax suppose they need wax from beekeeping so your level is not five in beekeeping so you will not able to produce wax suppose they need sap from forestry so if your level is not five in forestry you cannot be able to collect sap so if that is needed immediately you will not you will reach to level five in forestry but it will take time but who the player who is already in level five or more than level five they can chop the trees and get the sap so that is immediate requirement that's why they will take those players into guild who are having most skill set so in coming days if you have that opportunity to increase your skill set make try to do that don't try to just go uh, just go to bugs galore and buy some pop berry and uh, water mint and sell it to uh, bugs galore once again or vip market to gain some berry it's not going to be the easy situation like that in next chapter 2 so try to increase your skill set as early as possible and you try to join those guilds who are having lesser number in the watch list that will help you if you are having a lower number of skill sets if you are having higher number of skill sets say for 100 or more then you don't have to think about anything you can try you can join any guild i guess they will let you enter into their guild because they will be benefited out of it that's my thinking so that's all my friends hope you got the idea what they have told i have derived it from the post and the discord announcement and hope this will give you some leverage in thinking point of view and you will act accordingly thank you very much for watching if you like it just smack the like button and share it with your friends who are playing pixels thank you once again